Chris think he's doing? Is he crazy or something? Let's go talk to him. Chris, what are you doing here? I'm just trying to work on my tan. It's prime sun tanning hours. From the color of your skin, I'm going to guess that you're not wearing any sunscreen. And you know that too much sun can be bad for you, right? Of course. I put a little bit of sunscreen on this morning. But if I get my base now, I won't burn later. Oh, Chris, you have a lot to learn. Come with us. We have someone you need to meet. Hi, Chris. I'm Dr. Lynn Drew, Sudbury Skin Specialist. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for meeting with me, Dr. Drew, and very nice to meet you. I've heard you've had some uh, exposures to UV rays and extreme temperatures. I have, yes, and that's why I wanted to sit down with you today and see if I could get a little bit more information about uh, the sun and sun exposure and UV rays and whatnot. That's great. What can I help you with? Excellent. So my first question for you would be, now, if I were to get a really bad sunburn, what would I want to do to best take care of it? So you want to get out of the sun as soon as possible, and mm -hmm. you want to cool the skin down, so take a cool bath or a cool shower, uh, or you can put some aloe vera. And when you get out, I personally like to use a topical corticosteroid, either prescription, high strength if you have it. Now for someone like me who has pretty fair skin and I have a lot of moles and beauty marks, what would I want to do to best take care of those? Okay, so it's important to, first of all, wear sunscreen to protect your skin. For sure. Um, and we want to apply the sunscreen about 15 minutes before we go out mm -hmm. and reapply at least every two to four hours, especially if you're sweating or if you're swimming. Now, are there any warning signs that I should be looking out for with my moles or with skin in general? So if you're worried about some moles, you're worried about them becoming melanoma, you're looking for A, B, C, D criteria. A, B, C, D, E criteria. E, okay. So A for asymmetry, mm -hmm. B for regular border, C for multiple colors, mm -hmm. D for diameter, so we at less uh, less than six millimeters is good. Right, okay. Um, and uh, E, evolution. So if a mold changes, right. usually within six months, that's, mm -hmm. that's a bad thing. Now, my last question for you is that I've heard that if you go above SPF 30, it doesn't really make a difference anymore the more you go up. When you test sunscreens for mm -hmm. SPF value, no sunscreen will give you 100% protection. Mm -hmm. And the other important point to note is that uh, SPF numbers only talk about UVB protection. Okay. So they're not actually measuring the amount of protection you get from UVA. So it's important to get a sunscreen that's broad spectrum, which will protect UVA and UVB. Yes. Well, thank you for, for taking time and sitting down with me today. I learned very much about this. Good, good. And I hope you put these good tips to good measure. Absolutely. Thank you again. So guys, how do I look? Dr. Drew really got through to you, Chris. Oh, but I think you've gone a bit overboard. It's important to be aware of the risks of being in the sun, but there's no need to completely hide from it. No, Chris, I think we have one more person for you to see. Here at HSN, we have a preventive oncology unit, and Nicole can uh, um, give you some day-to-day -day information about how you can protect yourself from the sun and the UV rays with, without uh, using a full suit. A little going overboard, eh? Yeah, that's a little too much. Well, well let's do it. There are ways that we can enjoy the summer sun, the outdoors, by following internationally recognized sun safety campaign and slogan, slip, slap, slop, slide, and seek. So you want to slip on some protective clothing, covering yeah. up as much of your body as possible. Okay. Slap on a wide brim hat. Okay. Like this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so it's covering my ears and the back of my neck. That's right, and your face. And my face. Perfect. Slop on a lot of sunscreen. All right. Broad spectrum sunscreen, SPF 30 or more. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Slide on some sunnies mm -hmm. with 100% UV protection, pr okay. protecting those eyes, and seek shade. Okay. So under a gazebo, a tall tree, sometimes yep. even tall hedges work. If none of those are around, you can also make your own shade with right. an umbrella. Yeah. And this is particularly important between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Okay. when the sun's rays are strongest. Yeah, when they're at their peak. Exactly. Or okay. UV index three or more. Okay. Excellent. Well, Nicole, thank you very much for your time today. I can't believe how ignorant I was when it came to sun exposure. So after speaking with yourself and Dr. Shrew, I feel that I've learned a lot about sun safety and I'm going to be a lot more careful when I'm out in the sun enjoying the summer. Thank Great. you again. Thanks so pleasure. much. Looking good. Thank you. <laughs>
Thanks, guys. Dr. Drew and Nicole really gave me a lot of insight on in the importance of sun safety. I think from now I'll be able to take full advantage of summer and be smart about my sun exposure. That's great. I know summers around here can seem really short and people want to be outside as much as possible, which is really great, as long as we're being safe about it, reapplying sunscreen and taking lots of breaks in the shade. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick. And I'm Sarah. And this was the sun safety episode of Myth Fracture. Do you have a healthcare myth that you want fractured? Share it with us and you might see it on a future episode. Enjoy your summer. And remember, sun's out, guns are out. With sunscreen, of course. <laughs>